charge is bending the water because the water is a negative charge so the, the the experiment is proven that water is a negative charge and it can be pulled by a positive charge thank you this is our first experiment bending water so this is our second experiment it is called electromagnet so the first thing you're going to need to make an electromagnet is a D battery, a copper wire, an iron nail, some metal objects, clay, and for safety precautions, a cloth. So, um, so uh, how to make it? It's very simple. So first, take your iron nail and your copper wire and then you're going to wrap the, the, the copper wire around the iron nail very tightly because it's a very it's a very important it's a very important um, very important um, very important thing for this electromagnet experiment so after you're done wrapping it make sure to leave two long wires at the end. So when you are done with that, you are going to make a looped shape at the end. So make sure it's this long. When you are done, you look like this. Okay, so next, take your D battery and then you must attach both, you must attach both of the ends 
to the positive and the negative sides. So use a cloth to hold them. Okay, so let's start. It is very dangerous. You might get electrocuted. Sort of. Here's our electromagnet. Let's put it to the test. Wow! Aren't you good, yeah? <coughs> okay, Vivian. So, how does it work? It is because the electricity from the positive and negative charges is being, is being transferred through the through the copper wire onto the iron nail, making it magnetic. Thanks, dear. That's cool. It, yes, it is, Vanilla. So, but there's also one more cool thing. Even though you take it off from the battery, you can see it's still magnetic. See? It's still magnetic because the, the charges are not done yet. So, so there is like there is a little bit char uh, electric charge left in the iron nail. Thank you. This is our second experiment about electromagnetic. So this is our third experiment. Dissipating coin. So what do we need to make to do this experiment? So firstly we need two coins, two beaker, and bottle of water. So, shall we start? We shall, we live. So, take a point, put it into a beaker. And the other point must go under one. You can see, right? So, take your water, add it. Nothing different, you can still see the point, right? So check this one out. Ah? Why can't I see the coin? Because through your because when light travels through, you can't see, because the coin is not hitting the light is not hitting the coin. So when you see through it, you don't see anything. Because it's in the bottom. So when you see from here, the coin is inside, right? So yes. you see through the makeup. So when you see the point, you can, the light is hitting it, so you can see. Ah, okay, I understand now, Milan. Thank you. You're welcome, Milan. <laughs> so this is a very easy experiment you can do at home, which only requires two. If you can don't have beakers, you can just replace them with glasses, and you, or you have coins and a bottle of water, or you can use sink water. So this is our third experiment. Okay. Hello and welcome to the last experiment. It is called amazing arrow. So the things you need to make an amazing arrow is a piece of paper, a beaker or a glass, and and a bottle of water. Or you can also use sick water. So shall we start? Yeah, we shall. So first, you must draw two arrows. They can be in any direction, up, down, left, right. They don't have to be in the same direction. They can be up and down, left and right, right and left. It's according to your imagination. Be looking like this. After that, you shall take your beaker or glass and fill it up with water.
as you can see, it's reversed. Why is that good here? Because when it, it is called refraction of light. Because when light travels through one dense to the other dense, like air to water, it will create an optical spec. Which is may look different from the actual 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 drawing. So you can easily do this at home. Um, you can take coloring paper instead of normal paper. You can use a glass instead of a beaker. You can change the directions if you want. But we must be safe. Or to you and your imagination. So this is the end of the experiment and thank you uh, for letting us participate in the printer science. We would like to say special thanks to our teacher, Chek Mumazni, and we would like to also say thanks, thanks to the principal of SMK Tessa Chepaka and also thanks to the chief of science and mathematics of SMK Tessa Chepaka, Chek Suraya. So, Thank you for letting us participate in this competition. We are very honored.